Good Friday evening and welcome into our home. Certainly glad that you are here to join us tonight. Don't forget tonight is the last night we'll be doing this for a while and uh, we're, because on Monday we'll begin our Advent family devotional that you will either be receiving in the mail or you can print off online. And if you don't get a copy, let us know and we'll get that to you as soon as possible, okay? Because we want you to join us. Also, don't forget, even though worship services cancel for one more week, um, uh, we uh, will be doing communion. If you want communion, call me up and we can arrange for you to get communion. And we look forward to being back together real, 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 real soon. Thanks for your patience in dealing with this and for your support. I hated to make this decision. It was hard, but we, we know it's the right thing ultimately. Well, let's begin our devotion for the night. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rejoice. Then Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. There is no one holy like the Lord. Each year Samuel's mother made him a little robe and took it to him. The boy Samuel grew up in the presence of the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 2. Whether you've been gone for 30 seconds to get the mail, or you've logged a 10-hour day at work, a golden retriever is ecstatic about you being home. His tail goes back and forth. He tries hard to keep all four paws on the ground, and sometimes he whimpers with delight. He'd turn cartwheels if he could. He'd sing as Hannah did if he were able. And how Hannah sang. She praised the Lord for his power, his goodness, his authority over all the earth, and his faithfulness to those who trust him. She kept her vow. Samuel was the Lord's to raise, and the Lord honored her sacrifice. She who had long been barren gave birth to three sons and two daughters. For Samuel too. No, of course, none, no, of course, none was a plan for Samuel, but each was a reminder of God's pleasure in Hannah. I love it when I come home, and that is so true. It doesn't matter if I'm gone 30 seconds or if I go to the bathroom and come back out or if I leave for the day and come back out. Abby dances. I mean, her whole body hinges like this. Hinges. I don't know how she does it, but she does it, and it's the most adorable thing. You know, I've said this before, and I said it in a sermon recently, I wish we were more like dogs. You know, they're always, I mean, gosh, they rejoice at the simplest things. They get so happy. Kids are like that too. Over the simplest things, they rejoice. Just watch Casper and our children's messages. I mean, man, he gets so excited over the, the, the funniest and silliest things. It's amazing. I think we as adults lose that. We lose that because we get grumpy and we get old and we get bitter and the world becomes hard. We really lose that. And it kind of makes me sad. Maybe if we spent more time rejoicing over the simple things in life, life would be better. So, Stephanie and I don't eat out much these days, but sometimes we go and eat out at uh, um, restaurants, but outside, only if we can sit outside in distance, right? And so we love this one restaurant in Fort Worth for breakfast called Snooze. And this past uh, Saturday, we decided to go to Snooze and sit outside and have breakfast. Now, I love their breakfast and they accommodate my dairy allergy, but one thing I've always missed are good pancakes. Well, lo and behold, on their new menu, they have vegan pancakes. This means there's no dairy. I got so excited that I looked at the waitress and said, thank you, you've made my day. Even in the midst of COVID, there are good things that happen. There are vegan, dairy-free pancakes. And she kind of looked at me and chuckled like I was a little crazy. But man, I was excited. It was happy. I rejoice over vegan pancakes. You see, sometimes I think we wait to rejoice and give thanks to God until big things happen. It's kind of silly. If we learn from Hannah, we see that even in rejoicing at every moment in God, even in the midst of trouble and even over small things and big things, God tends to bless us more with big things. For when we are thankful with few things, when we manage few things well, faithful with those things, God will bless us with more. So maybe our challenge from this scripture reading is that we start rejoicing more, even over the little things. Even over the little things, whatever they may be. Rejoicing that our favorite pancakes are now vegan. Rejoicing when somebody comes home from a long day at work. Rejoicing and enjoying a, a good scotch or maybe a nice cigar. Rejoicing and enjoying your favorite, for, for your favorite piece of candy. I don't know what it is, but rejoice. Life is a lot better when we rejoice because we're happier. It blesses God. People see us rejoicing and they begin to rejoice too. So go rejoice today and try it out more. Quit, let us quit being grumpy old Lutherans and rejoice. In Jesus' name, amen. We continue our prayers for our, from our hymnal. 
Visit, O Lord, the homes in which your people dwell, and keep all harm and danger far from them. Grant that we may dwell together in peace under the protection of your holy angels, sharing eternally in your blessings. Most gracious God, we give thanks for the joy and blessings that you grant to husbands and wives. Assist them always by your grace, that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep their marriage vows, grow in love toward you and for each other, and come at last to the eternal joys that you have promised. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you have blessed us with the joy and care of children. Give us calm strength and patient wisdom that as they grow in years, we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of His Holy Spirit be and abide with you all. Have a great night and a great weekend. I love you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.